And we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create the Mystic Rose symbol. That's at least the name that I know this symbol under. Let us create a circle first with the ellipse tool, hold control when you drag it, give it a stroke, no fill, so hold shift and click on your basic color swatches to give it a stroke, then click on the X to get rid of the fill. On the object fill and stroke you can adjust the width. I use one millimeter in this case, that works. Now create a little circle, give it a fill and no stroke. So hold shift and click on the X to get rid of the stroke and add maybe a black color swatch. We want to have the snapping enabled and also the snapping to the rotation center and the center of the object. If you've got it to the center you can drag it upwards while holding control. But it doesn't snap to the circle we also have to have the snap smooth nodes active. So this icon right here and now it snaps. It's in the correct position. Let us close this, we'll go to object and transform. We want to have an angle of 10 degrees. And the reason why is we've got 360 degrees divided by x. And x is the number of nodes that we want to create, in this case 36. Click on it again to have the rotation active. Then drag this plus sign to the center of the big circle like this. If you apply it, it rotates in 10 degrees around the circle but press Ctrl D in between to create copies that then rotate in these 10 degree increments. It should be 36 circles in total now. So these are our nodes. And all we have to do now is to use the Bezier tool and connect them with a single line. So left click on the center here, then left click on the next one. Once again, left click and left click again. As long as you've got the snapping still enabled and all of these icons active that I've shown you in the beginning, they will snap to the center. You can deselect temporarily these lines if you simply right click. So I left click and left click again and then I right click and I can start a new line. You have to connect all of them. So let me speed up this video a little bit. Alright, now we don't need these circles anymore. We can select and delete them. We can do so one by one. But you can also select one, then go to edit, select same and fill color and then press delete and you have every object deleted that looks like this. Then press Ctrl A to select it all. Then hold shift and click on a big circle to deselect that. Press Ctrl G to group everything else. And now we need to transform menu again, once more 10 degrees. Press Ctrl D and apply it. I've seen this symbol with different colors. So if you want to add different colors after you've pressed Ctrl D and rotated it, Hold shift and click on the color swatch down below to give every of these group line objects a different color. But I want to stick to black color here. So once more I've got only the lines selected, they're grouped and I press Ctrl D and then apply it. If you've done everything correctly, you should be doing that 35 times to have 36 of these nodes in total. You can also create this symbol with less nodes if you want to, but 36 is a good value to create these overlaps. All you have to do is to adjust the angle according to the amount of nodes that you want to use. And this is how you can create this mystic rose symbol in Inkscape. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.